Hello everyone, hi, I'm Saito and welcome back to my channel, Saito. In today's video, I'll try to uh, do the CAN Master video rendering test comparison between the Realme X1 Max versus Poco F3 GT device. So this is another request which has come from plenty of users. Can you please compare these two phones? How well these two phones are handling in terms of CAN Master video rendering? So let's see friends, which phone can actually do it faster than rendering support. That is what I exactly I'm going to show you in this video. So first, let's start with the 1080 video. I'll try to convert the 1080 into 1080 and 1080 into 2K and 1080 into 4K. These are the three different steps which I'll try to show you exactly in this kind of demonstration and both phones are having the dimension 1200 processor so it's the exact same file which i'm trying to uh, show you right now let me to quickly click next next yes so first let's convert this 1080 into 1080 so this is the exact 1080 file which i have gathered and now now i'm trying to convert the 1080 into 1080 only let's see how much time it actually takes and the estimated size is a kind of same a kind of a little bit kind of close so 80 8.07 mbps and 8.09 mbps in terms of the bitrate you can see not much difference let me to click next save image and let's click at same time skip let's see this time both phones are dimensionality process and which phone will be able to do this rendering test faster in terms of exporting from 1080 to 1080 that is what i'm going to check right now the poco f3 gt was able to do it faster as you can see friends clearly it's doing faster than the realme x1 max wow that's fantastic I'll try to show you one, one more thing. I'm trying to use the high performance mode as well in the Realme X and Max. I do know some of the Realme X and Max, they'll definitely say the users, can you please use the high performance mode and can you test it? Right now I'm using the high performance mode only in this phone. I'll try to show you once after this uh, savings. Let, if possible, can I, let me just see the notification. As you can see notification, you can actually see the, the notification as well. The perf high performance mode is turned on. Let me try to focus properly. As you can see, high perf performance mode is on. In this mode in the realme x1 max as you can see when this is a realme x1 max and finally you can see if the poco f3 gt did finish the canvas video rendering test faster than the realme x1 max done as you can see it's fantastic friends is the poco f3 gt with the same processor both phones they do have the same damage to 1200 processor as you can see the magic what has happened the reason why a lot of people are interested in the POCO F3 GT suddenly is because the phone was able to perform really good in the speed test and the RAM management test when compared with the Snapdragon 870 chipset. So that is when a lot of users are actually asking me, can you please do the rendering comparison between these two dimensionality processors. So now we got to know what, how much is the difference. As you can see, the POCO F3 GT versus Realme X1 Max. So now let's export to the 1440 resolution at same time. Estimated size is also kind of same as you can see. Let me need to adjust a little bit kind of uh, close to each other. It's very difficult to select in, in, in terms of the points. Very, It's very hard for me to select in, in terms of the points. But this, I'll try to keep, as you can see, these are the estimated size 374 MB and 372 MB. Now let's see. So it's exactly not possible. I'm, I'm not getting that kind of exact number this time, but let's see what will happen. But overall, it can, it's kind of close, very close to each other only. I'm going to cancel this and click at same time. Let me try to do it again. So I'm missing this one. What? Let me do it one more time, last time. I think this time it should be kind of perfect. Yes, thank God, yeah, <laughs> it's perfect. And right now, let's see from 10 to 1440 resolution, the POCO F3 GT was able to go. As you can see, it's kind of faster than the Realme X1 Max. You can clearly see friends, the difference, how it is, yes. The Poco of the GT has got slightly more uh, better in terms of the video expecting skills than the Realme X1 Max. That's the one thing which uh, we can come into conclusion. But I'll try to do different applications. Some users they did mention that can you please try different application? Maybe the Can Master must be something. But let's see. I'll try to use the dip different Adobe uh, Premiere Rush, some other exporting applications, and I'll try to check what is actually happening in this case. Same processor, but it should not be this much kind of difference. No, it should not be there. Even I did see this kind of uh, slow when compared with other phones as well in the Realme X1 Max and is a live proof what you are getting even with using high performance mode in this phone in the Realme X1 Max but still same results yes as you can see friends the Poké of the GT has completely finished completely yes and the real mix and max is still going on so itself we we got a clear idea what is happening so if there is a little bit kind of difference i would have definitely continued to the 4k test but right now even if i continue with the 4k it doesn't make much sense because anyway the poco f3 gt gonna render first the 4k 
So if there is neck to neck competition only, it's worth of trying different different settings, different different resolutions. But there is, it's not a neck to neck competition at all. So there's it's not worth of trying at all and wasting my time and your time. So that's it, friends. Thank you for watching this video. And this is a Poco F3 GT is a clear winner in terms of the CanMaster rendering test comparison between the Realme X1 Max versus Poco F3 GT. Now let me try to show you the battery and high performance mode. As you can see, high performance mode is turned on during this time of testing. I don't know that is the reason I'm trying to mention again and again. So thank you for watching and see in the next video friends I'll see you later for more updates. Meanwhile, check the links in the description for the playlist in case if you have any other doubts, all the doubts will be completely clarified. Until then, bye.